Mr. Martin, what's still, Playboy? Not much, man. Just back home on break, enjoying it. <laughs> I miss my family, my friends, but I've been still grinding though, as well, though. No doubt. It's your boy, Big Star, man. You rocking with the best as usual, man. It's been a while since I've seen you, man. Yes, you know, sir. if you can, um, officially, you know, reintroduce yourself to the people. Um, let them know your history, where you played high school football, your college choice, and we'll start there. Um, my name is Robert Martin. I graduated from Harrisburg High School. I played running back. Um, I went to, I, I go to Rutgers right now. And I played tail back there as well. And this is about to be a big season for me, my junior year, and I'm looking forward to it. No doubt. If you can, real real quick, let's just kind of um, recap and kind of reminisce. Let's flash back mm -hmm. to your high school days, you know, some of your accomplishments, you know, some of your most memorable experiences. And let's, you know, because no matter where we go in life, you know, professional, college, high school always holds a special place in our heart. So just, just recap, you know, remind us of, of how high school went for you. High school, it was kind of a bummy road, but I grinded my way up and I can't complain. Uh, my, my most memorable moment was my junior season when my, when my career took off. I enjoyed that season a lot. I got to play with some real good dudes that also went to play D1 ball. It was a great experience and that's when I knew that I could compete with the best of the best. And that year was a, a good year. And <laughs> my senior year, I had tore my ACL against mm -hmm. McDevitt. Mm -hmm. That was a my, that was a setback. Yeah. I wasn't too nervous for real because I knew what I, what I was going to be able to do if I just kept my mind focused and just grind. And, mm -hmm. that, and that's what I did. And I'm still trying to put on for the city right now. I know that's right. Um, what, which one of your most memorable games or like uh, just something you you did in your junior season that you'll never forget? Whether it was a single game or a highlight or what, what do you what do you like? Something you never forget about the junior season? Uh, something I never forget about the junior season is the game against East when I when I when I got to start RB and I and it took when I took off from there we won that game. Mm -hmm. uh, I snapped on offense and defense, <laughs> and that's after that. It was a, it was a no brainer. No doubt. Um, I've been wanting to. I've been waiting to, to sit down and have a conversation with you for, for a few years now. Right. Um, the unfortunate story of, of how the senior season ended with the injury and everything. Um, but such a it turned into such an inspirational thing. Talk to the people because because that's a common thing. That that's a common sports injury right. like the, with that type of injury. Right. Talk to just just speak to the people right now because you know it, it's a lot of kids that go through that same type of injury. Yeah. Some kids lose focus. They lose their motivation. They get right. down on themselves. They give up, but right. you didn't give up. What allowed you to kind of get to where you are now? Um, yeah, once, it was hard work. Uh, definitely, after, like I said, after my junior season, the sky was limit. I had scholarship offers, so I knew like I, I gotta get back on track. And like you said, man, football is a, a real, a real tough sport, and that and that injury is known around the country. And when it happened, I was I was down, I was depressed, especially watching my team out there losing games when I'm not when I'm and I couldn't do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So it just fueled me even more. So. I worked out with Dave Bricks here. He he got me right. And I, so, so so before that, what, what what was the process like? Oh, so you have the injury, you do all the scans and us. So once they mm -hmm. find out, okay, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, was it an operation? And then mm -hmm. tell me about the rehab and everything. Oh uh, yeah, like I said, I, I went to one of the best surgeons in, in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Real good surgeon. Uh, he don't prescribe no brace, and I told him from the get go, I didn't want to get no brace because I know. That it just plays mind games with people, yeah, and I didn't yeah. want to have to depend on that. Yeah. So once he told me that, that he don't prescribe me, I, I was good to go after he <laughs> did my surgery, and they said the surgery went well. Mm -hmm. I, I checked in the rehab. It was stressful. It was yeah. it was, it was real tough. It yeah. wasn't even no dealing with no weights or not. It was just getting my knee back right, just strengthening up, the, yeah. the flexibility of it. I know it. it's frustrating when you're dealing with your own just regular mm -hmm. body weight, and yeah. it's tough. And then you had to get your, your weight back, your main, like your, your body weight back. You lost weight. Yeah, wow. once you go before your surgery, out, you, you lose a lot of weight. Yeah. So I did that, and then once I was cleared out of that, I uh, linked up with Dave Brixius, mm -hmm. and I was working out before school in the morning, mm -hmm. and then I'll go into school, and then after that, I'll probably go in the, in the uh, high and lift with them as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it was definitely a real grind. People didn't know if I was going to uh, red shirt or yeah. if I was going to be able to play going mm -hmm. into college, but I already yeah. made it a goal that I was going to play yeah. in college. Mm -hmm. So that's how that that's how that yeah. happened. So when did you get your con when did you get that confidence where you knew, okay, I'm back. When did you kind of get that I'm back, that I, feeling, you know what I mean? I felt it in gym class for real. Yeah. I will be playing pickup ball, yeah. and <laughs> I'll be going so hard, 
the, the gym teachers had to call me down there and say, Robert, you better be careful. <laughs> slow, slow but I roll. still felt I still felt it. And then at like seven months, I was doing one on ones with all my like the dudes that I grew up with. Yeah. And that's when I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about it no more. Okay. I would have been cutting for so long and, and just running around that uh -huh. when I when I was in school, I, all I had to worry about was like, damn, I gotta get bigger. No so, doubt. Yeah. So tell me about the transition to college and then how and the, tell me about the transition to college, how it went so far, and then bring me up to speed because you're like you're, you're 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 a junior or you're going into your junior right. year. I'm, I'm going into my junior season. Okay, so just bring uh, us up to speed how the college stuff went so far. The, the transition was was tough going like from the academic side of things. Mm -hmm. Rutgers is a real academic school, yeah. so I had to make sure I stayed up on top of that and they mm -hmm. and they push us. Yeah. The weight room. That just comes natural if you go and grind. If you've been a grind all your life, yeah. <laughs> if you've been a grind all your life, it's going. You gonna love it. Yeah. And I like the coaches, but we just got a new coaching staff, and I'm and I'm liking them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, my freshman season, I got to play. I got to play even more towards the end of the season, running mm -hmm. the ball. Yeah. So and then my my sophomore season, I, I got better as well. I increased, got the ball more, and this junior season, this is sky's yeah. the limit. I just yeah. got. Thank God for everything he's blessing me with, and just if it's in God's plan, and everything's gonna play out itself. No doubt. Well, I, I appreciate you, man. Um, just your story and just how you didn't quit. That's right. a very inspirational story, man. Definitely. So from me to you, never hesitate on the opportunity to talk to a young kid Definitely. who may go through a you know, situation like Definitely. that because they'll need to hear from you Definitely. if you went through it and you got through it. Mm -hmm. That's special. You know what I'm saying? Um, for sure. God bless you, man. I'm, I'm looking man. forward to continue to continuing to see you grow Appreciate and watching that. you on TV, man. I love to be like, yo, that's my boy. It's yeah, my young boy right man. there. I gotta make the city proud, man. No doubt, no doubt. Definitely. Well, you keep doing what you do, man, and you know you got a whole city behind you, man. For I want to sure. see you do well. For sure. All right? Thank you. My man.